Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about the Stretch Tech. Um, it's the girth from Total Saddle Fit. Uh, I bought this girth uh, November 5th of 2016 and uh, it's now December 2017. So a year and uh, um, a year and almost two months and I'm having some issues with it. So I contacted uh, the company total saddle fit and it was weird because I spoke to them on the phone I messaged them on Facebook um, they responded uh, very quickly and then um, I, I gave them a call and I, I made a video of the issue sent it to them and then we had a phone conversation as well and um, then the very next day I had my replacement girth so uh, as far as customer service like top notch and the guy was super nice to talk to and deal with and everything and um, the service was awesome and I guess uh, these girths have a one-year warranty which mine um, was a little bit over as a year and two months but um, it, it was fine and they sent me a new girth and I just have to send this old one back to them at my cost um, and then my credit card won't get charged so <clears throat> um, I just wanted to show you the issue that I had with it and uh, just so that this data is out there um, the bottom line is I still totally love this girth when I first got this girth I did a I did a review video on it and if you watch that review video I was still skeptical um, I had my girth that that's worked for you know thousands of miles the Wintech um, synthetic girth and I had no issues I had no problems so I didn't really have a reason to change girths other than that you know the fit could be better and da 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 just but it's some minor stuff right so in that review video I was like yeah I, I really like it I can see how it's better but is it really worth the cost too because this is like a $200 girth um, and I was still like eh now I'm like yes it's worth it this is the girth that I want to always have but um, I think that there are some real issues with it and I spoke to them about it and the guy said that he was going to relay the message on and I don't know if it's going to be heard but um, even if they don't fix the issues I would still I would try to make mods or something um, and still use the girth just because I do think that it is a very smart design and it works really well so um, first off just just a brush up of why I love this girth is you know they advertise that it gives the elbow room elbow clearance you know shoulder clearance um, all that stuff and it does the it does make the saddle sit better um, sit more properly I've noticed that with my regular girth the the one that's just straight across then a lot of times in pictures you'll see that the girth isn't straight down it'll be like tilted this way and then his saddle will be here and then the girth is actually tilted um, forward because it slid if this was the head of the horse it would slide to where it's right under the armpit instead of sitting back a little bit um, so yeah this this does address that issue and this does sit a lot better the other thing um, now they have they have their regular girth and then they have the stretch tech and this is a stretch tech that has three pieces um, that is connected by this uh, stretchy material okay so this is almost like a floating centerpiece that actually sits right there in the horse and um, where where the ribs separate and it sits perfectly in there and then what happens is it can accommodate a rounder horse all the way to a more narrow horse you see how this because it articulates there in the center it's it has different shapes and the other the other girths that's one piece don't really do that because they you know usually they're flat and then you kind of pull them um, to a shape but then you have to tighten it you know kind of tight more tightening is to get the fit right this one it's not about um, it's not about the tightening so actually since Lacerre is more like um, this shaped 
then uh, I can actually have it very, very loose on him. He's very sensitive about how tight the girth is. And a lot of times, um, even on our endurance races, I'll come into vet check and it will look like you can put a whole fist between um, between the girth and his body on the bottom here. And people will freak out when they see this because they're like, whoa, your girth is way too loose. Well, no, it's it's not. And I have to reassure people this all the time. Lacerre has huge shark fin withers on top. That's what's holding the saddle on. Um, I'm a balanced rider and my saddle doesn't shift. All the girth needs to do is to be tight enough to do the job um, but as loose as possible for the horse's comfort. Now also um, at a standstill, Lacerre is going to be at the, uh, at the most relaxed, right? So he's not going to be using um, this much. But if, if you've seen how much, um, there, there's a video that shows how much a horse's lungs expands when they're working. I mean, it is big, you know, their lungs are, I think, you know, they're, I can't remember all the, all the stats, but it's huge. It's massive, massive. And they need to, to do that. And when I'm riding him, I can feel, you know, his chest moving. He, he needs that. He doesn't, he doesn't like being constricted. Now, if you only, if you only go at a walk, and your horse is very round barreled, you know? Yeah, you probably need to cinch up tighter than I need to. Um, and since I have I have a V-shaped horse um, and he we go at a flat out gallop where he's gonna need that expansion, then having a loose uh, girth is actually way more important for us. Um, plus, you know, it's his preference as well. So anyways, there is that. This this girth is the one that best suits our riding style on Lacerre and it's totally secure and it can be totally loose at the same time. So um, so yeah, totally, totally love this design. Now the design that I don't love about this is that they designed it so that you can remove the liner. So this one, the one that I got is a leather liner and <clears throat> for the stretch tech, I think you can only choose between leather and, um, and I don't know, there's another fuzzy one that they have. I don't like the fuzzies and I'm not a fan of the leather, but the leather is nice in that when it gets wet and um, sweaty, then it slips. So, you know, there's no rubbing. It's very slippery. I hate neoprene. Hate, hate, hate neoprene. So that is that is not an issue. And they even say that neoprene is sticky and sometimes it can grip and pull hairs or, you know, cause um, the rubs and, and um, girth, girth galls and stuff like that. So, uh, plus it's really hot. It, it doesn't breathe well. Um, but basically you can take off the whole liner and you can interchange the liner. So that's great if you have multiple horses, um, you have your favorite liners for different things and stuff. For me personally, I hate this feature. I want them to take it out. One, the, the main reason why is because it uses Velcro. And you know how much I love Velcro, right? Velcro doesn't last. Um, to, it doesn't last for to the environment. It doesn't last to the kind of abuse and stuff like that. Plus, it gets all gunked up with hairs. So you'll see on the edges, the hairs, okay? So this is, this is the issue that I talked to them about. Okay, you see over here where it's pretty connected? Well, when I first got it, I believe it was more connected like that, okay? And then now it's loosened up like that. Well, then in some areas, you see how this has totally widened out? Well, if you see why, in here, it's all gunked up with hairs. And that's gonna make sense, you know? The hairs are gonna go in there and it's gonna gunk it up and then the, the Velcro isn't gonna be able to work. And plus, okay, wait, let, let me finish this thought. All right, so here you can see how big it is. See how it's gunked up with hairs? Okay, see that, and this is, this is squished in as much as I can squish it. Now, it's not getting gunked up with hairs as much over here. And then same thing on this side. It's out here that it's doing it more. Okay. 
so so that that was um, that was my complaint the other complaint is that all right I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this but on the inside here there's still velcro here and on both sides there's still velcro on the tops here you hear the scratchy but on this there is no velcro this this is their floating piece well <clears throat> On the inside here, hope you can see that it's actually getting scratched up because of um, this is the the hook and loop or the no this is a hook part. The top here is a hook part of the Velcro and it's eating up the fabric on the bottom here. So that is getting torn up just from regular wear and tear, but because of the hooks on the on the Velcro, um, I suspect that. Uh, I, well, I don't know why there's hooks up, up on here. There shouldn't be hooks on here unless there's going to be uh, loops on the bottom, right? So, so that's kind of it. it it's, not, it's not breaking too bad, but it is totally wearing thin. And remember, I'm used, I'm used to all of my tack lasting for 10 years plus. This has been one year. And so I'm like, there's no way this is going to last for another nine years, you know, and and so um, that that's why I contacted them. So anyways, um, they they heard me out and I told them, I said, you know, hey, I think you guys should should make one that doesn't have um, that doesn't have a, a removable liner. Just just make it, you know, and then they said, no, we don't have that um, in the plans. But, you know, they, the new one is different. All right, so this one is the old one. And here's the new one. And right away, I hope you can see, the new one is thicker. And also, they changed... They changed the way the liners go. This way. Okay, old one on the old one on the right, new one on the left. And you see how the liner now sits um, outside. It used to be where the liner would sit flush. Now the liner is actually um, like forming a border around here. See how that goes? So <clears throat> I don't know if they think that that will protect against the hair gumming up in there. Um, also, the rings that they use, these rings used to be bigger and now they are smaller. Now this, this paracord thing, I made this because um, I use an English girth and my girth attaches with, um, with a buckle. So I need a center thing, not these two things on the, on the sides like that. And their answer to that is to give you a little strap. But once again, my thing is a, a, a buckle, so uh, not a buckle, a snap, you know. So I need a ring. So that's why I, I made this out of par, uh, paracord, just to have uh, give me a center ring to snap onto. Um, <clears throat> and the other difference I noticed is that their centerpiece is now larger as well. So... I think I like that. Um, I don't have any complaints with the changes that they made. I think that these are nice changes. Um, I think definitely having having this be thicker, you know, all the way around is gonna be good. Um, it still has the hooks on top and no matching loops on the or uh, yeah loops on the bottom. So this part is still gonna get scraped up. And for me, looking at this, I think my options is either one, try to figure out something, uh, try to either destroy the hooks um, so that they can't scrape up the liner or um, get some loops and stick it on there permanently, you know, and or I can try to figure out a way to gum it up, cover it with something to gum up the hooks. Um, 
uh, so that they don't destroy the liner. So that's something that, you know, I can look into uh, to modify that. But this is the new one. Basically just smaller rings over here. Oh, and I was told that this is also smaller. The, the old one was really big and thick and heavy. That one is now smaller. These rings are now smaller. And um, this, uh, the liner is now bigger and it now fits like that. But I'm also noticing holding these two that this one seems a lot lighter too. I don't know why. But this one, this one definitely feels heavy, and this one feels a lot lighter. So, um, I don't know. But, see how it used to be that, you know, it should be all nice and just together like that? And now, it's it separates, and then this is really yucky. So, we'll see how this does. Um... Once again, the issues that I had with this uh, didn't didn't affect performance, and so you know, not not too big a deal. Plus, I love the company; the people were super nice. Um, I love how quickly that they that they you know worked to resolve this issue with me. Um, I definitely hope that they change it in the future. My perfect girth, if I had to design this, would be to have um, have this exact girth, uh, but somehow figure out a way to have this have a center ring and just ditch the whole removable liner part, just make it a solid piece. Um, and also to offer it in a synthetic uh, material, not neoprene, um, that other stuff like the like the Wintech synthetic earth. It's breathable. It's it has a little bit of a stretch to it. Um, it, I mean, I've had that girth for you know ten years, thousands of miles, and it still looks brand new. A very very little wear and tear on it. Leather just um, for the type of riding that I do. It, just isn't holding up that well so um yeah that would be my my perfect um one piece synthetic like the wintech synthetic and center ring so not that not that much of a difference the leather is holding up fine um i did ask the guy if he's heard any other complaints like this coming in um, at this time and he said he hasn't heard anybody else complain about that at this time but remember their their product is um, still kind of newish and we we do extreme riding and we do a lot of miles although there are a lot of endurance people that have um, that do use the stretch tech girth and are really happy with it as well so so I don't know um, plus I mean, I mean we're, we're just kind of crazy so so maybe that's that's part of it but um, anyways, totally love the girth, totally recommend it. But here are just some of the issues that uh, have come up and then we'll see how this goes. Um, I am gonna make some mods and go ahead and ride with this. And then in a year's time, then um, I'll be able to report back to the company and let them know, you know how it fared. Um, I'm not expecting it to fare that much better than, than the original one because I mean, we still got Velcro. And I think we just got to get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> but otherwise, just want to share and uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.